Whew. Man, I really like this space. You got your two-headed thing that I'm just in love with. It's a goat. Oh, okay. the, the goat. Okay, they're royalty. Is what they are. All right. Well, fucking I. Said the Confederate flag to the American flag. Well now, here I am. The prodigal son returns, rearing his ugly colors again. Must be 1861 again. Must be blood in the dirt again. And soldiers marching down the road like it's my goddamn birthday. I know you don't like to think of me much, old man. Like the ten ain't flying the same height as you on the back of this well-meaning southern boy's truck. Back turned on me like I'm just some raggedy piece of cloth that got buried with all them bodies at Gettysburg and Palomino Ridge. Like you ain't just another raggedy piece of cloth like me. It's amazing what people are do to a piece of cloth when you wipe up enough blood with it. How they worship it, panic every time it touches the ground, or burns, or cite prayers, and rituals to hell. They even die for it, kill for it, a sacrifice to their cloth god, the American golden calf. And you forget that we are the same colors. We are red, but especially red. And we are white, but especially white. And we are blue, but especially blue. Like all them people we choked out, and the music they made while we was doing it. The only difference between you and me is I'm just a small part of what you are. Fraction of you. You like to forget that. You like to forget a lot of things, don't you? Remind everyone who ended slavery while stepping on my neck, but never once remind them who brought it here. Old man, you forget where the cotton we are made out of even came from. And you telling them you represent freedom. But did you tell all them Japanese you locked up? Were you singing this land is your land when you prodded them Cherokees off at corpse by corpse? You telling all them people you injected into prison about their free country? Maybe they ought to call you the stars and bars, or just the bars and bars, you know. Mm -hmm. They were quick to find me on that racist shooter's belt buckle. But which one of us was sewed onto Darren Wilson's arm? Which one of us was on the sleeve that formed the chokehold? Which one of us is painted on the side of them Baltimore police cars? Which one of us stood behind the judge and watched Zimmerman get acquitted? Which one of us is painted on the box the goddamn bullets come in? Cause it ain't me. Nah, it ain't me. Maybe it was me. That part of you that fell into the dirt and got in my face only 200 years ago, you know. At dusk, if the light hits you just right. And the wind is blown fast enough, we almost look the same. And you can tell where I came from. <laughs>